Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome to Rich Shark Insight, a place where future millionaires come together to get ideas. Today, we're going to talk about a stock that jumped two times today. Rubies. I believe you know Rubies, the restaurant chain. Uh, it jumped two times today. If this is your first time to Rich Shark Insider, welcome to our channel. We talk about business, finance, stock investment, real estate, how to make more money, and anything to help you succeed. That's my goal is to make you money. So if you want to make more money and succeed, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell so that you do not miss any of the videos. So let's go to today our stock, Luby's. Let's look at it. Yesterday it was 85 cent, then it jumped to a dollar 87 cent, so it's more than twice. So what's going on here? If you look at the, the past five days, uh, one month, nothing changes. Six months, yeah, it, it dropped because of the illness, the disease, you know, that's everything happening. Uh, dropped to 51 cents, almost nothing. Almost nothing really uh, from two dollars. Uh, if you look at one year, Yep, it's, it was on the way to, you know, recovery, up, going up, but then, then it dropped. Five years, why? Wow, look at it, the trend is like downtrending. Massima, why wow, you're gonna be so surprised at this? Look at it, at the top of the business, you know, it's value at $24.75 so in nineteen It dropped all the way to $1.46 in 2003. And 2008, 2009 too. So this business, boom, a lot at the beginning, 1980. It's a, this business has been around for a long time. Then it dropped. It's listed on NYSC uh, with the symbol uh, UB. NYSC is a New York Stock Exchange. Uh, after hours, it dropped. You know, New York Times, uh, the market closed at 4 p.m. in New York Times. And uh, so after that, it drops. So. So that's what it means, and basically, uh, if you look at the uh, the market cap, it's only fifty seven point uh, four mediums. Uh, so it's a small company. So market caps you can get it by uh, using as the price of the stock multiplied with the to the share outstanding. That's how you get the market cap. And the stock opens at dollar seventy two cents, and that is got the highest. The day high is a dollar ninety nine. I, the the day you know the, the lowest price today is a dollar fifty cents. So previous close is eighty five cents. So basically, uh, which was, was yesterday close eighty five cents, and fifty two week high, two dollar sixty five cents one year. Fifty two week low is forty six cents. So what's going on? Look at it. There is an announcement by Lubies that it will it's gonna sell all the operations and assets and distribute net proceeds to stockholders. So look at the news. Uh, sales of its operating divisions and assets including its real estate estate assets and distribute net proceeds to stockholders after payment of debts and obligation. You know, uh, they need to pay um, supplier, they need to pay employees. After that, uh, everything that they they sold, their, their real estate, you know, the restaurant, a place, locations, they're going to sell everything. Then the stockholders, if you are the stock holders of this company, you're going to get the last. It's always the case. Stockholders always get the last. So if you do not know the Luby's, uh, basically it started in 1947 in San Antonio. Uh, it's a, been existed for a long time. It's been existing for a long time. And basically, let's look at this one. Yeah, after satisfying that proceeds update for any such transaction distributed to Ruby stockholders, blah blah blah. Uh, so what? Uh, what? Why did they decide to sell? So basically, the ball concluded and monetization process were likely and lot more value more quickly and with greater certainty for benefits of all Ruby stockholders than the other ordinary. So they try, uh, they, they have to consider all the other ordinaries. So they already decided, you know, it is time to uh, stop the operations and so set everything off and then give everything back to the stockholders, you know, and just give, set it at that, uh, and creditor, the suppliers, everybody. 
So the, it's, it's painful, you know, if one of the companies that has a long history have to close, you know, uh, a lot of companies close uh, because of this uh, disease, this illness, this period, it's a very difficult time. So, you know, for uh, almost everybody. So we we'll provide, so, so if the company receive offer to buy the whole company, you know, if somebody step in, hey, I, I like this business, I can turn it around, you know, I, it can be hedge fund managers, it can be a private equity, it can be anybody, literally. If you want to buy the whole company, if they think that it's a much better value uh, to sell the whole company, they're going to think about it, you know, in the meantime. So taking into account factors that could affect valuation, include timing, suddenly closing, credit market risk, everything. You know, when you sell the company, it's like buying a house. So you need to think about different things. Uh, when you buy a house, you need to think about interest rate, your credit score, uh, your the lending the guidelines because of this uh, disease. Uh, a lot of the creditors, the banks, the lenders, they increase their criteria. So it's, it's much, it's harder to get qualified. Yes, of course, you have a lower interest rate, but at the same time, they, re they require higher credit score a higher down payment, you know, uh, to make sure that these uh, the borrowers, the buyers, is has a financial capability to to weather the storm, you know, and uh, so yeah, so it, it for the same uh, consideration. So it's it's the same way as selling a business, a buying business. There are different uh, different things: the timing, closing, credit market, everything as well. Cool, yeah, so they are selling a company, but let's look, take a look at their income statement for a quick review. So what's going on for this business for a long time? Uh, if you look at the income statement, so basically, yeah, let's look at 2016 income, for 402 millions, and uh, it dropped a little bit, 376, it dropped again. You see, it has been decreasing. So no company can survive by you know decreasing revenue and uh, it and uh, it it has been making losses you know basically it has been losing uh, all those years and uh, yeah so so probably that's the best decision that they can make I'm sure that you know the the companies the CEO and uh, everybody they want to keep operating but then you can't just just keep going on uh, like this. Um, you know, losing money and, and the stock is basically 50 cents, you know, they cannot raise money uh, by issuing more shares anymore. It's nothing. You know, if you if, if you are share price at $80, yeah, you could probably survive by issuing more shares and diluting the shares. The shares might might go down a bit, $50 or, you know, $60, whatever. But if you have only 80 cents, no, no one wants to buy the shares uh, with the decreasing revenue and you know making losses. And uh, uh, I'm sure they already tap into the the bond market, the debt market, and, and it's probably more expensive to buy, uh, to pay for to get the debt, uh, with with the financial statement like that. So, so it's a tough decision. A lot of businesses uh, became bankrupt uh, during this period, the past two three months. And uh, JC Penney, uh, Sears. So if you look at this, uh, there are a long list of the retailers. Then uh, the Luga Apex, uh, Pass, Full Pass. Uh, probably you might notice some of those, some of these cinemas. Cinemas, cinemas, yeah, cinem basically, you know, cinemas, nobody's going to the cinemas anymore. They are basically facing uh, so many challenges, you know, not only from Netflix, you know, uh, streaming services, but also from this disease, this illness happening, you know, nobody wants to be close to uh, another peop other people, you know, in a, in a close room. So they, they not, so that's why this uh, cinemas went bankrupt. Yeah, so Robbies, uh, J Crew, a lot, a lot. So base Gold Gym as well, uh, Neyman Marcus, Luxury Department Store. So if you look at it, there's one thing common. So uh, this one also too, but they have a lot of brands. Eh? So 
they are all retailers, retailer that has a physical store. So, so you know, with the online shopping are uh, becoming more mainstream. You know, in nineteen nineties years, you know, when Amazon got started, it's it's not it's not so normal to shop online. So people were afraid that they're gonna get scammed. Now, now you know, a lot of people, um, most people think it's very normal to shop online as they don't even want to go out anymore. So the trend has changed. The house company, nobody's traveling, so it got one bankrupt. This company has been around for a long time. And Tuesday morning, they pay. So the list, basically very, very long list. I, I, I think we're going to see longer list, the longer it's going to happen, you know, most of the some of the industries and some of the setups they might not come back anymore uh, because of uh, this situation they're not gonna come back uh, but we gonna have a new industry new setups that's solely based on online business coming up and so it's a good thing and also it's a bad thing you know so there are two sides to the same coin okay so what do you learn about from this uh, slide, Rubies? Do you like this restaurant? Have you ever tried that restaurant before? Uh, comment down below, when was the last time you tried that restaurant? What do you like about this restaurant? So subscribe and share this video. Uh, that's, it means a lot to me. It's going to help this channel a lot. Uh, because you watch until the end, I'm going to give you free lip, free gifts for you. So uh, see you will raise about 60 bucks a year, 5 bucks a, a month. So that means they read one a book uh, a week. So that's why they make a lot of money. So I want to give you free audibles. Click, click the link below, so you get free trial for thirty days, and and you could get free stock. There are two links. You can sign up for a free create a free account deposit only one hundred dollars, which you can withdraw any time after that. So that could give you one thousand four hundred a stock. That's potentially worth up to one thousand four hundred. Uh, you're gonna get two stars from Webu and one star from Robinhood. Uh, so click on it. I think Webu probably might give you three stars. So so probably four stars. So make sure you open an account. This um nothing to lose by opening an account and depositing hundred dollars. If you are thinking about becoming a realtor, real estate agents, now is a good time to become a realtor. And you know when people lose their jobs. They might lose their home in the near future, so so you can help people. You know, become a realtor because you want to help people. So you could start uh, the realtor real estate business within sixty days. So basically, uh, take the take the test, uh, licensing test. Uh, after that, you you pass it. You uh, you you take the licensing course and take the test. Uh, state and national test after you pass the test you look for the broker you can also email me you know if you want me to recommend you uh, for some so that you can get sponsor um, to become an agent now if you are thinking about getting a free credit credit loan you know for 14 months or 15 months I put a link below these credit cards gonna give you a uh, 12 months to um, 15 months free interest loan uh, so if you pay too much for more than fifteen dollars for your mobile phone, you are pay too much. Uh, I I use this plan. I even write Hollywood at the right Reynolds like this plan. Uh, free uh, testing, talking, and also the free data as well. Uh, and travel credit credits if you are planning for the holiday, the next holidays in the next two three months. So there will gonna be free travel credits as well. The links gonna be below as well. So if you have any question, make sure you uh you like and see first my Facebook page and follow my Instagram and write down what you learned from this video and what what do you like about rubies? Have you tried when was the last time you tried rubies and what what what's your favorite about it? So click the link below, uh, subscribe and see first, like and see first. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.